Today, when most people talk about space companies, they mention Elon Musk's SpaceX first. But it wasn't always so. At least it wasn't so in the first two years of Blue Origin's existence. In 2000, Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin, and SpaceX was only founded two years later. But as time went on, SpaceX grew and eclipsed Blue Origin, despite Jeff becoming one of the richest men in the world, and eventually the richest. Even when Elon Musk, by his admission, was going through a crisis and called Mark Zuckerberg to pitch a Tesla sale, SpaceX remained a more relevant company than Blue Origin. However, it seems like that state of affairs may be coming to an end soon, as Blue Origin may just have an ace up its sleeves. Welcome to Super Freaky Science, and in today's video, we'll be telling you about Jarvis, the Blue Origin space project that may just cement Blue Origin as a space juggernaut. Stick around till the end of the video and learn a Super Freaky Science fact. Blue Origin and SpaceX Many stats prove just how different Blue Origin's growth has been, but we'll use this one because we think it accurately depicts the kind of growth SpaceX has undergone and the level Blue Origin needs to reach to get to it. And here's the fact. SpaceX has launched 130 missions, most of which went to orbit, while Blue Origin has launched 15 test missions to suborbital space. While this may make Blue Origin look bad, it's important to note that both companies aren't guarded by the same philosophy. For example, SpaceX is a lot more concerned about immediate profit, while Blue Origin just wants to build the technologies it wants to use in achieving its growth. That process, Bezos has admitted, is slow, but as we'll soon see, it is a process that could be worth it in the end. The Jarvis Project Around late May, a rumour about Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket started to go viral on social media. The rumour was this. Blue Origin was changing the primary structure material of its new rockets from an aluminium alloy to stainless steel. This new information wouldn't be interesting under normal circumstances. However, it was interesting in this case, because SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy are also made of stainless steel. Aside from that, these changes also meant that there would be an inevitable delay to the new Glenn's development program, which was already a few years behind schedule. We tried to figure out if there was any truth to the rumour and discovered that it was false. The rumour had emanated from a misunderstanding of the realities of the new Glenn. Blue Origin wasn't changing the new Glenn with stainless steel, they were building something else. The company wanted to develop a fully reusable upper stage for new Glenn, which may potentially use stainless steel propellant tanks. If Blue Origin can pull this off, they would would reduce the cost of producing the new Glenn by a few million dollars. You may say, well, Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world. Why would he want to penny pinch like a regular company, especially when he says he wants to explore space for philanthropic reasons? The answer to this question is this. He didn't get to be the richest man in the world by throwing money around like Cronus, and he isn't about to start now. The building of this reusable second stage program, named Jarvis after the character in in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it also appears that people got a part of the first part right. Blue Origin may just be emulating SpaceX by making the first stage and second stage of the new Glenn reusable. Blue Origin is looking to land and reuse both parts of the new Glenn, just as SpaceX wants to land and reuse both the first and second stages of Super Heavy Boosters and Starship Upper Stage. The Starship and Failing Forward when Elon Musk announced plans for the Starship in 2015, not very many people believed that the craft, with a reusable first and second stage, could be built. Many analysts doubted it, but as you probably already know by now, Elon Musk doesn't care about what's possible and what isn't, and was able to deliver the fully reusable Starship last year. When Bezos saw plans for the Starship, he decided to change the design of the new Glenn and make it fully reusable as well. However, senior members of his staff 
staff told him that it was unlikely that the fully reusable new Glen could be built. And the reason was simple. Blue Origin didn't have the same business philosophy as SpaceX, which was basically to fail forward. That is, to test, test, and test unlikely solutions until one is successful. When Bezos saw that Musk was finally able to build a fully reusable Starship despite the flaws with his failing forward philosophy, he decided that Blue Origin would do the same. Some reports say that Bezos was so obsessed with seeing Project Jarvis become a success that he walked off parts of the second stage development program from the rest of the Blue Origin and told its leaders to innovate in an environment unfettered by rigorous management and paperwork processes. Unsurprisingly, the program has accelerated quickly and tests of Jarvis may begin this year. What isn't clear though is exactly how much Bezos has earmarked for this project, and no one knows whether the managers of the project report directly to Bezos or Bob Smith, the CEO of Blue Origin. Before we go to the last segment, we've got a super freaky fact for you, and we've got a wager to boot. If you knew this fact we're about to tell you before, don't do anything. But if you didn't, you have to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Deal? Deal. The sunset on Mars appears blue. Just as colours are made more dramatic in sunsets on Earth, sunsets on Mars, according to NASA, would appear bluish to human observers watching from the red planet. Fine dust makes the blue near the sun's part of the sky much more visible, while normal daylight makes the red planet's familiar rusty dust colour the most perceptible to the human eye. You probably didn't know that, did you? Well, now you do. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. The other thing Blue Origin is up to. Blue Origin isn't only focused on Project Jarvis and building rockets, though some may say that the company plans to focus on in-space projects, and reliable sources can confirm that Bezos has already greenlit two other major projects, one relating to in-space propulsion and other focusing on developing and demonstrating in-situ resource utilisation technologies for the moon and beyond. To ensure that these projects will be successful, Blue Origin has done a lot of intelligent hiring. For example, they recently hired research scientist Vlada Stemenkovic from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and he is primed to lead a team that will develop technologies that can help man live on the moon, or even in space itself. All we can say at Super Freaky Science is that the next few years will be very exciting for people interested in space, rockets, and other such things. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to stay super, we'll do the science for you.